welcome back and welcome to my channel my name is Mia Monet and today is day one of my 12 days till Christmas series now y'all probably asking what the fuck is 12 days until Christmas now if y'all know y'all know like the big youtubers or even the small youtubers are doing like vlogmas so they're posting every single day until Christmas so from December 1st to December 5th some people are even doing December 1st until like December 31st like the end of the month which you got it but I know myself and I know that I won't post every single day up until Christmas so I'm not gonna give y'all that broken promise but I know I can do 12 days until Christmas so um <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be posting every single day until Christmas these 12 days hopefully I can achieve it and if I do I'm gonna be very very proud of myself but in today's video I'm going to be doing like a spend my off day with me type of vlog just because I do want to tell y'all how I got quote unquote scammed but we're gonna talk about that later before we can get to how I got scammed we do need to tackle my head because if I don't know I had a wig on the wig is currently off I did take the wig off as soon as I touched down in Indiana just because nobody told me how much your scalp itches with a wig on like even when I get quick weaves they don't itch that much oh my god my scalp was on fire so I had to take it off I did reapply it um a couple days after I took it off and I took it back off because it started itching again so I just told myself, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna take these braids out and just rock my natural hair. I do want to keep my hair in a protective style all winter, um, just so my hair can flourish in the summer. So I'm gonna be doing like mini twists on my head. Um, another thing I have to do is take these lashes off because they still look, like from a distance, they still look good. But up close, it's like very like sparsy, a lot of, a lot of gaps in it. So I'm gonna just take those off. Um, what else do I have to do? And then the rest of the day, I think I'm just going to be running errands. So, yeah. The first thing we're going to do is tackle this head. Y'all, please. I know I always look a mess when I get on here. But please don't do too much on my hair. Like, I don't even want to show y'all. Like, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. But. <sighs> I got my gel braids in, y'all. Like, what is going on? But. I'm finna hurry up and take these out so I could just hop in the shower, wash my head, and then start doing my hair. So, y'all yeah, finna get this time lapse. I'ma see y'all after I hop out the shower. Okay, hey y'all. I know I was supposed to be like taking out my braids, but <clears throat> what's going on with my voice? But I know I'm supposed to. Now my dog trying to leave. Hold on. But yeah, I know I'm supposed to be taking out my braids, but I found my headband wig because like. I want to say like a year and a half or maybe two years ago um these headband wigs was going like viral on tiktok and instagram so i was like well i was in a point where i didn't want to do my natural hair and i was like you know what fuck i could just pop this wig on and leave and put a headband on what then i realized i don't know how to do no type of braids so um me even just putting my hair in like a slick low ponytail this wig wouldn't fit over my head so i was like Okay, I just seen this wig in one of my little um, baskets. Let me see if it fits. And it does. And I just bought a hot comb and shit. So I'm finna like hot comb it and make it look good. And I don't know. I may or may not take out my braids if this shit works. Because if I could just pop this hole, put a headband on, and go to work. And the dogs don't have to rip out my natural hair. Baby, this might be a steal. I might keep the braids in for a little longer. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. after i like hot comb the top so i could get like a little flatter i threw on a headband you can still kind of see like the wig being that the the headband wig is connected to um i don't know what type of headband that you would need to cover up the whole thing like you need like a thick like this size of a headband like i don't have none of those so 
it's looking like i need to go on amazon and buy some more um but this wig is like super convenient because you just literally put it on strap it up put a headband on and you're good but just because i don't have any headbands that are like suitable for this headband i'm still gonna take these braids out but it's super cute um this is like making me want to teach myself how to do cornrows because how am a black person i don't know how to do cornrows it's like okay let me not say i don't know how to like i if somebody parts my parts for me i can braid them back i just would like to have like straight parts and when i part it i don't know how to straight like make them super straight so yeah but once i know how to do that i'm definitely gonna be rocking this wig a lot more i could curl it crimp it throw a headband on it and girl you're cute so yeah but let's go ahead and get into me actually taking these braids out see me I was taking down my hair uh, after I took out my hair I got in the shower washed my hair washed my body then I made me some breakfast I made me some hash browns smoked sausage and eggs uh, then I laid down for like an hour right now it's probably like 2 p.m. now I'm about to get into doing my hair um, like I said earlier I'm about to be doing mini twists on my hair because my hair is about to be up put away all winter so the parts I'm going to be using for my hair is this Shea Moisture Coconut Enhancing Smoothie. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this. This was the holy grail back in the day. Um, it's currently like almost gone. I'm going to have to use all of this on my whole head. So we definitely got a ration because I don't have no natural hair products to put in my hair. Um, and the main reason why I'm doing mini twists so I could just leave my hair alone and I could just sit and grow so I need as much moisture as possible so I'm also going to be using oil on my scalp um the oil the only oil I have in front of me right now is this hair food with shea butter oil I put this in my hair while I was taking out my braids I think I have some more oils in my closet that I need to go get hold on okay bump that hair food oil I'm about to be using this do grow mega thick formula hair growth oil this is dinger finna be going but this helps grow my hair and this is the wild growth hair oil that i was telling y'all about that i use in my hair and that uh, my stylist also used in my head now i don't think it's the oil that's making my hair itch but even if it does my hair is in mini twists i could easily take them out wash it and redo them but this also helps my hair grow really, really fast. And um, Jamaican by castor oil, but I just ran out of that. Um, so those are the three products I'm going to be using in my head. I'm not going to be using no gels. Um, I am going to be using mousse on the top of my head. But y'all can just get any type of mousse. There's no specific mousse that you need to use. I have three in front of me, so I don't know which one I'm going to use. Um, I was also going to give y'all like a little story time on how I got scammed or how I think I'm going to get scammed. Um, while I did my hair, but I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I can't do two things at once. I am I cannot multitask, especially like doing my hair and telling a story. I'm just going to time lapse me doing my hair and then I'm gonna tell y'all the story on how I got scammed after. So yeah, let me go ahead and get into doing my hair first. I cannot find my spray bottle. I'm always losing something. When I have to do my hair, I never have all the utensils and like the products and materials I need. I'm always missing one thing. Like last time I did my mini twist, I could not find my comb. Now I'm doing my mini twist, I cannot find my spray bottle. So y'all know what I'm finna use? This. If y'all don't know what this is, if you buy, like go on Amazon, you buy like lash shampoo and like the whole kit, 
it comes like with a spoilie it comes with the lash um shampoo brush and it comes like with like the lash bath spray it also comes with this for you to like spray your eye so you have to keep splashing it this is what i'm gonna use to like on my hair even though like i really really want my spray bottle i cannot find it but i promise you after i'm done with these mini, twi mini twists i'm gonna turn somewhere or i'm gonna just like start grabbing stuff and it's just gonna pop up like that's just gonna piss me off but yeah let me go ahead and get into these mini twists okay it's currently 220 so even the time and see how long it took me to do these but yeah i'm gonna catch y'all later <laughs> that I was going to give y'all like the story time on how I got quote unquote scammed after I finished my hair and as y'all can tell I know I never finished I didn't even finish the back half yet but um my dad came here and basically was like Mia we need to go do this now because FedEx closes early like for the shipping like for you to ship stuff out like pick up packages that part of the FedEx closed early and I looked it up and it closed at five and when he told me this it was like around three so i just threw on a hoodie some sweatpants put my hood on and then we left so um let me tell y'all the story on what happened okay so first let's talk about what i purchased so i had purchased a sony zv e10 camera and the reason why i wanted to purchase a camera so early is because one when i was in atlanta and i see shamari like doing her vlogs and her like tiktoks and stuff like the camera like i don't know i just like the camera and then the phone aspect so you can still like be on your phone scroll like maybe show the time the date to the camera plus it's a better it's a better better quality that's what i'm looking for it's better quality on a camera than your phone so and i also it just like i don't know it gives me more motivation to do videos if i have a camera other than my phone like it gives off like if you're in your dorm room, um, you have a separate space like a desk or a certain area where you do your homework than doing it in your bed. You feel me? It's just something like that. So I decided to go on Amazon and purchase a camera. Now, I not only purchased the camera, I purchased like what the tripod, the light, the screen protector, basically a whole, I got a whole package and it came up to like around $800 plus I got a warranty for it because I got a two year warranty because I know myself and I know like it's just bound to happen for me to like break it, crack it, it needs some type of repair. So I just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to get a warranty on it too. And I only got the two year warranty because I feel like after two years, I could just upgrade to a different camera. You feel me? So yeah, I ordered it while I was in Atlanta. So about the time I came back home, it will already be at my house. Cool camera comes i'm so excited i even did like a whole like unboxing and everything like i was so excited to show y'all i set it up i show my spam i show my friends like i'm like y'all i'm so excited i got my camera got my camera got my camera like i even got a video of me like got it fully set up y'all <laughs> i don't even think i took a video of like the problem with the camera but basically the camera came out the box dead. Now, I feel like in a moment, I really didn't see it. But I now that I'm looking back on it, I feel like that's weird. Because if you buy like a phone or if you buy a computer, it has some type of charge. Even if it's like 20%. So you can like set it up and like start seeing like all the aspects of the device. And then you go home and charge it like fully. But it came out the box dead. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not thinking too much of it. I come upstairs. I plug it up. Let it charge. I take it off the charger. Turn it on. 
and you can't see nothing out of the because you know it's like a viewfinder and then like you feel me you can't see nothing out of the camera this is what it looks like it looks like this but obviously it's not a hand in front of it it's like if you was to see me like this but it's like super 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 blurry like you can't even tell like it's a person sitting right in front of the camera if that makes any sense i wish i would have took a video so y'all could understand what i'm saying but i was like that's weird but like the menu works like everything else works it's just the you can't see nothing out of the camera so i could text I te and first before i ever text amazon like the service people i look up on YouTube, like, is has anybody else had this problem? But every person that I looked at that opened up or unboxed this camera, it comes out clear. And I, they didn't say anything. None of the people I, like, came across, the video I came across said anything about it coming out, like, fully dead. Like, oh, straight out the box dead. Now, they could have just, like, not even said that in the video. But, I don't know. I just thought that was weird. So, I texted Amazon service people about the whole situation. And the first man I talked to, he was like, oh, yeah, I understand your frustration. Y'all, I'm so busy. He said, I understand your frustration. Um, I can give you a full refund and da 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 this and that. I'm like, is there any way that you could just, like, replace the camera? Because I still really want the camera. It's just this one's not working. Can you just replace it? He was like, yeah, 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 I can replace it. Um, Just give us 24 hours so I could talk to my team about it. And then we could give you a final decision in the next 24 hours. 24 hours plus comes and no email. So I go back to Amazon service, whatever. And I talk to somebody different, obviously, because it's like, it's, you're not gonna talk to the exact same person every time. And he was like, um, what's your problem? And I basically tell him like somebody was from, somebody from y'all yeah, team was supposed to contact me about my replacement on my camera, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, well, I'm going through your little history and I don't see anybody telling you that you could get a replacement. What? What do you mean? I just talked to somebody not even, you know what I'm saying, 48 hours ago. What do you mean you don't see it? So then I scroll up. Because, you know, one thing, let me not say one thing about me. But Amazon messes up my packages a lot. So one thing about me, I'm going to get my money back regardless. So I be texting them a lot. And I can see every single item that I ever, like, refunded or, like, needed to exchange. But I do not see the one from less than 48 hours ago so what are you telling me the person i talked to yesterday just deleted our conversation what what's going on like i'm at this point i'm getting heated i'm getting mad like i'm trying to scam me out of 800 no we're not gonna do that especially on no big company like amazon what okay yo i'm getting back hot because like what's going on but he was like yeah we definitely can't do no replacement but we can give you like a refund so i'm like okay well let's start processing this refund like do y'all need me to return this camera like what's going on he was like, well, we can't do the refund. You have to go through, like, the seller. What do you mean? Because I've gotten a refund plenty of times before, and I've never went through the seller. I always went through Amazon. And nine times out of ten, when I do request a refund, they never tell me to return the item. But I was willing to return this camera because it doesn't work. So what is it sitting in my house for? So I'm like, why do I have to contact the seller? Like, this camera doesn't work. I can return it, like, so y'all can see that it doesn't work, but I need my refund. So they basically sent me, um, she was like, okay, well, just go through this link and you get your refund. So I go through the link and it sends me to Sony's website. So I'm like, okay, maybe send me to Sony's website because Sony was like the seller under Amazon. They just wanted to ship the camera through Amazon, if that makes any sense. So I went through Sony and she basically told me they don't do refunds on cameras. They can do a replacement or they can fix the camera that I already bought so basically bro I feel like I'm getting scammed because why is it taking so much uh, like why is it taking all of this for a camera that I want that I got and I want to return the exact same day I got it like it's not like I held on to the camera for like two months and then wanted a refund you feel me I got the camera on November 30th and was and then I contacted Amazon about a return on November 30th. You feel me? So, yeah. Today we just delivered, I mean, we just went to FedEx to ship off the computer to Sony so they can, like, look at it. So they can look at the camera. 
and see i guess if they can fix it they can give me a replacement or whatever but yeah hopefully they don't play me because that's 800 800 dollars that's not something you could just brush off and just throw down a drink 800 dollars that's a big amount of money especially for somebody a 20 year old like me that ain't got no money at all like 800 dollars ain't cheap y'all and i was so excited to use this camera but hopefully everything works out um I'm still going to come with the content on my iPhone 14 because iPhone 14 quality is still good, baby. Don't play. But, yeah, that's uh, the story on how I got, quote, unquote, scammed or how I think I'm getting scammed. But let's not even uh, talk about that anymore because I'm going to get more pissed than I already am. Uh, I am going to finish these mini twists because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I only got two rows done right now. So I'm going to finish the rest. And I feel like they're coming out really cute. Because the only thing I did different this time that I didn't do the past couple times I was doing mini twist is I let my hair fully dry. Like, I don't know if y'all saw in the beginning of the video, I had my hair in like a um, t-shirt and I sat in that t-shirt for like 30, 45 minutes and my hair was like completely, not completely dry, but like, dang, not, it's not even, it wasn't, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like 10% wet, if that makes any sense. So it like elongates them a lot more. Plus, I can't find my um, spray bottle. I can't find my spray bottle. So, I'm using this, which uses a lot less water than I would use if I use my spray bottle, which is keeping the length as well. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to finish doing these twists, and I'm going to come back on here when I'm taking off these lashes. Because, baby, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> quick another quick little intermission i got dinner if y'all don't know my dad can cook he can throw down especially barbecue don't play with him but he cooked us uh, steaks a new york strip green beans and corn and a baked potato now don't do too much i do put a1 sauce on his steak does not need it it really really doesn't but i don't know i just like the tang of the a1 sauce as you can tell i also put in my baked potato um so yeah i'm gonna eat this and then get back into doing my hair y'all been doing my hair for two hours like consistently doing my hair for two hours and i'm not even done with the back yet because this time around i'm doing a lot more twists just so they can last longer so yeah let me go ahead eat this and get back into doing my hair <laughs> So I'm done with my hair. Mini twist, mini twist, mini twist. So how I was looking, how I was looking, how I was looking. As I could tell in the back, I did like three parts because one, it makes it look a lot fuller. And two, I ain't have time to make sure the parts are straight. So I just parted up the front just because that's what people are gonna be seeing the most. And like I said before, I didn't use no type of gel or anything. I just used um, the Curl Enhancer Smoothie, mousse, water, and oil. Um, because I feel like gel just weighs my hair down a lot. And I don't like the flakes. So, yeah. And before we get into taking these lashes off, I'm going to make a TikTok. Because I need to do the shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Sexy. 
I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just finished my TikTok. If y'all don't already, if y'all don't already follow me on TikTok, y'all should. It's at me and Monet 03. It'll also be in the description. But now we finna take these lashes off. Now, how I used to take my lashes off was like with a thick oil and let it sit on my eyes for like 30 minutes. But even that didn't take every single lash off. So I got tired of like having like two lashes on. Cause if y'all used to watch my old videos, like I used to have like two lashes on in like two or three videos. And those would be like a couple days at a time. So me having like a lash here, a lash here, a lash here for another week is insane. And like, if you try to pull them, people are like, just pull them up, just pull them up. It hurts. It literally hurts. Like, no, I'm not just gonna do that. So I looked on TikTok to see what the girlies was using to um, remove their lashes. All of them was using oils and waters and just wait for them to fall off or just go to your nail tech. Like, no, I'm not gonna do all that. But I seen one girl, she had ordered this um, gel remover on Amazon and it works wonders. You just gotta keep this on your eyes. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm also putting a picture right here where I got it from Amazon. But you just put this on your eyes for like five minutes. Don't open, oh my gosh, do not open your eyes. You gotta like keep your eye closed for that 30 minutes. Make sure you rinse all the gel, shampoo, and you can like shampoo it and everything. Make sure it's all off before you open your eye because when I tell you it burns, it burns so freaking bad. So yeah, I'm gonna use this to remove my lashes um, and then I'm gonna come back and then close off the video because y'all, it is 8.30 and I had to get back up at seven in the morning to go to work. Um, I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, um, another day in the life because I haven't taken y'all to work with me in a minute. I don't think I took y'all to work since I became a manager. So um, it's a, definitely a totally different lifestyle up there as a manager. So um, yeah. I'm going to take these off and then come back and close off the video. off and as you can tell my lashes are still there and no falsies left behind per i'm not gonna lie y'all can tell my eyes is red that solution got in my eye baby when i say it was burning it was burning freak it was burning so bad but i do want to put a disclaimer go get your lashes removed by your lash tech don't because i don't want to hear nothing like oh i bought it because she said it was a good product da, 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 but now i'm blind like i don't want to hear none of that i don't want to hear it use this at your own risk because when i tell you if it gets in your eye if you blink move your eye a little bit it's going to get in there and it's going to burn it will burn so just keep that in mind but yeah that's all i have for this video um i turned my main light off because it was kind of giving me a headache and i just got my ring light that's why it's a little dark in the background but yeah y'all this is all that i have for this video thank you guys for spending the first day of my 12 days to christmas series with me hopefully you guys enjoy and if you did please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye